Can you get to the next one? Karen Sepa Herco, 25 Highland Drive, Oaks Fair. Uh, good evening. First of all, I would like to address that I was not fired. <laughs> number two, I had no idea where Leo got that crap from. And number three, has nothing to do with anything currently going on. And I never said half of those things, and my husband didn't make 140000 last year. He made 77000 last year, which includes seven years of back pay. I am shocked that this council chair allows a tax of that type designed to silence citizens that speak out. Amen. As I did at the last council meeting, I would like to discuss once again the issues of administration's budget and proposed cutbacks in city services. I would like to state that the citizens of this city cannot afford any cutback in services. This mayor has cut public works to the bare bone, cut the city fire department by 30%, and has maintained the police department just barely. You are talking about right-sizing our city services in every area except for city hall. The mayor told me at the last meeting that the city hall is the nerve center of city government. I respectfully disagree with that silly comment. The real nerve city of this city are the folks who pick up my trash, the folks who care for our sick and elderly citizens, and the folks who come when my life is in danger, whether it be from fire, flood, or criminals. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor, you know, would you like to listen to what I have to say? Because this, this, is, this, this, this has something to do with you, too. I once again would like to call on you to right size, starting here in this building and leave the folks who directly service the citizens in the city alone. Once again, I would like to call on every one of the elected officials here to discontinue taking their salaries and benefits until your current financial crisis has passed. I doubt you will. In lieu of that, I encourage you to seek the assistance of the State Department of Community and Economic Development in straightening out the financial mess this administration has gotten us into. We need, in the worst way, a true and accurate audit of our books, not the incomplete disinformation that this administration is providing. I would like to call upon this council to break with the administration and create their own budget. I volunteered my time to work with you to do this at the last meeting, come up with a real budget with real numbers. I know I can get others to work along with you and help. All you have to do is ask. I would also like to ask, can anyone tell me exactly how much Syntax owes the city of Wilkes-Barre? Syntax was shut down months ago. The number they owed should be a single number, not the MyRed assortment that you keep putting out there. You keep throwing different numbers out there, which should not be, unless you have no idea how much they really owe you. Can anyone here tell me if the city has initiated a court action or filed with the Syntax bond, bonding agent? The world wonders. Finished? I'm finished. Yeah. Just one response. One, I, I, I'm very proud of the way this administration, the city council, currently in the past, have handled finances from where we were and where we are today. Something we've accomplished that many of the cities that have accomplished, and I keep emphasizing this, is a credit rating for the tops of times. Second of all, if Karen can tell us what that number is, we'd love to know with Sentac because they are still unraveling what they collected. They collect for 78 municipalities, Karen. That's what's the problem. They weren't prepared to do the job, and that's why it's a mess. Not any fault of anybody sitting here. Send tax, and that's why they were fired, and that's why they're in legal trouble. Okay? You couldn't tell us, we couldn't tell you. We have to go by historical data, which we rely on. So if you have some magic wand or crystal ball to tell us what that number is, we want it. Because professionals that are analysts don't have. So we can't tell you. It could be 1.5, it could be 800,000. We don't know, they don't know, and they're unraveling. As soon as they tell us what the number is. So what's the magic number you need to come up to by the end of the year to pay off all the debt? Yeah, we're going to pay that. But you know, that's debt that we, we inherited.
period is debt. Any debt that one of us in this I'm just talking about this year. It doesn't make, make sense. Again, How could you not know work, what they owe you? We're going to do our best to do this presentation here. If you don't know what they owe you, how are they going to pay you? Does not want to lay anybody off. But ultimately, we have to make some very difficult decisions. Whatever we lay out now, most likely there's going to be. So they're going to be started in 2013. It depends on where we go. Somebody has to know what's over. Let me tell you something. This city had no credit rating whatsoever in 2004. We have a credit rating now. We were put on a credit watch at no fall of ours. Check the other municipalities, Karen. Who has a credit rating? Who cares about the bullshit we have credit rating? That allows us to, no. allow us to restructure our debt. It's and save hundreds of thousands of dollars. Scranton just borrowed money. I think 9 or 10% interest. The last borrow we did was 1.75. You know why? Because we have a credit rating. And that's a tribute to the formal council and the current council because of the decision we made. If we did not restructure that, times would have been far worse years ago. Oh, wow. Sweet on out of all. James Gallagher.